Greetings, fellow Hamma Wamma Bamas, K1 Green Mountain Maniac. Uh, I'm going to run through the APRS system I have running here. I am running an eye gate. It's a receive only eye gate. There's not many in my area. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is walk you through the reason, the method to the madness, so to speak. Uh, so, I'm running APRS IS32. I tried to get Direwolf to run, couldn't get it to run. I'm on a Windows computer. I settled on AGW, Alpha Gulf Whiskey Packet Engine. Uh, excellent. Absolutely brainless to get this going. Running an ICOM 2300H, I believe it is, as a receive radio with a J-Pole, a traditional copper J-Pole antenna uh, for receive. And what I have is I have the APRS IS software as well as the AGW Packet Engine all in one folder. Uh, so let's go over, over here to this folder. We can open up this folder and once you have everything in there, you basically uh, just click on AGW Packet Engine. I always do run as administrator. It'll launch the Packet Engine and get that up and running. And once that's up and running, uh, you can scroll down to APRS IS32. Click on that, and off and running, baby. Uh, so this is what the eye gate looks like. You'll see it begin to populate. And the reason, I'm not so much into APRS regarding tracking, but I'll show you the website. Uh, what APRS does, I just found this out, and this is the reason why I got the eye gate back up and running this morning. Uh, I've just gotten into two meter sideband and uh, APRS, I think it's APRS.FI Mountain Lake. Uh, it's a website and what APRS does is it, com it grabs all the information, all the packets that are coming in, and it compiles that data. And if you have, see I'm, I'm right here, uh, right here. And let's say you, I receive a signal for let's say a digipeter or someone uh, running APIS via RF, I receive that from an area that's kind of out of the ordinary. In other words, a long distance. What that does is it compiles it and then it gives you a real-time map of tropospheric ducting, any kind of conditions that are going on. And I'll show you that. You can see the list uh, populating. And then what you'll see is the path uh, between uh, myself in different areas uh, as it begins to receive. So let's go to I'll open a browser here and let's go to okay this is what the map looks like so we're up here so we do have a little bit of ducting going on uh, 250 kilometers uh, according to this over here the key and uh, this this is how it works. So I use it primarily. Uh, I, I believe it's it's well, it's more accurate. Uh, the Hepburn maps are just forecast maps, so that's not real time. This is real time. This is constantly compiling and analyzing the data uh, for what's been received. So there you go. Method to the madness explained. Uh, if for any reason, if at all, if you're in a two meter sideband, I would highly recommend getting an eye gate up and running. Uh, because what it does is it helps contribute to the packets um, in in a region. Uh, so if you have any tropospheric ducting and you get an opening, you're going to hear packets from stations you don't normally hear from. And then that will be translated over to the map. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm out of here. Peace out. K1 Green Mountain Maniac.